Oh, man. Another episode, Table of Consequence. You already know. Flex Fitness. Your high helping hands. Healthcare. You, what we doing? You talking about? All right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Chemo, in the back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Signature films. You already, you, 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 you already, n- Nizzo, it's like, no, but, oh, no, shout out to, uh, uh, self preparatory Academy. You know what I'm saying? We here. You know what I mean, what we doing, bro? You know what it is, man. We put, making sure my, my youngins be in that light, man. Yeah. I definitely say their names, you know, that way the mm-hmm. people will never forget about them because I can't. Um, right away, I like to always, uh, you know, give a shout out to my sons on the mural because uh, it's super important that we do that, you know. You know, my got my son to my right, his name is Gerald Stewart. Um, he got murdered in Philadelphia at the age of 23. Um, then right next to him, we got my nephew, Omar Vasquez, who uh, died in a car accident at the age of 18. And right next to my um, my nephew, we got my son, Mookman, uh, who died, Mookman Jenkins, who died in Philadelphia from gun violence who, at the age of 18. And right next to him, we got my son, Montrell Stewart, who also died at gun violence in Philadelphia at the age of 26. Consequences, bro, hand. Yeah, consequences, man. Already, never like to jump past this uh, part, you know. For like sure. To, like to just reflect, you know what I mean? Had an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to uh, be engaged with all of them. And uh, yeah, consequences, man. What would it do, bro? Another day, bro. Oh man, we uh, we making it work, man. Um, you know, what pre- they talking? What they talking we, about they, with the podcast? They say we his. We, they say we his out. They yeah. say uh, is uh, is 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 something to talk about. You yeah. know the impact. It says yeah. impact. It's just really um a lot of the things we've been talking about is uh the people our people been relating to. Really it's been a top. It's been it's been a lot of great feedback, and I'm um I'm excited about it because uh you know well, me and you really uh talked about doing this. You know um this was always something that you wanted to do, and I was like, all right, bro, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like I ain't really worth turning down any of your ideas. You know what I mean? It's like yo, whatever you need me to do, then um to see the impact and get the feedback. Um, it makes it all uh, that much more doper, because you know when we we said we're gonna we're gonna do what we do, um, and the accolades ain't really what we chasing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's dope it's to get the feed. It's, it's, it's super therapeutic. It's dope. To, it's dope to get the feedback that we've been getting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know how you feel? How you? Feel? I, I feel good, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know. You know. You know what I mean? It, I'm I'm here, so you know it allowed me to put some things on the shelf that 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 was you know running through my mind, you know what I mean. So I'm just you know it's like I like we just said it's therapeutic, so you know what I mean. I had some yeah. things on my mind before I got here, yeah. but uh you know what I'm saying you know what I mean you know the the energy that I get when I come around flex to be you know what I'm saying you yeah, know, yeah it's like time out yeah. like time out for real life like time out come flex chill. You know what I mean? It's like the barbershop. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the barbershop talk. No, you know no saying? doubt, no doubt. You yeah, know, I mean. doubt. You know what's sticking out to me the most from one of my guys who uh, was telling me how uh, relatable uh, his situation was with his, with, with his pop, you know, similar to my dad. And I'm like, wow. And um, we and him, we having that conversation about, you know, um, pivotal moments in his life with his father. And um, it went it went to another, uh, and went to another spot, space, um, in, in, in regards to the conversation. And I was like, bro, you know, my pop was uh, a guy who came around when he wanted to, you know what I'm saying? And, coming uh, and going. Yeah, he was coming and going. He was definitely a rolling stone, right. you know what I mean? And um, he was like, yo, you, did your mom ever, you know, deal with other men? I'm like, for sure. And um, he was like, did you ever have a stepfather? I was like, yeah, I had to step, I had to step dad, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was crazy because um, growing up, you know, having a stepfather was just different. I mean, yeah, it, it was, it was different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't, 
I couldn't get down with the stepdads, bro. Yeah. I couldn't do nothing with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I ain't wanted for me, you know, I respected, you know, the you know, the well wishes of my mom. You know, I just stayed out of the way. I stayed out of stayed the way. Out the way you right. know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to play ball with him. I ain't want right. Yeah, I ain't want to do that. <laughs> I ain't want to play football. You want to play catch? He can't got no. He can't tag me in a game and catch or none of that shit. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. Hey, yo. <laughs> So, yeah, crazy. you know, um, yeah, but but in that in that in that moment, did you you already had a relationship with your dad though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, my my man, my dad relationship was strong, like right. super so strong. Know, that was my that's my it. guy. Um, although like back then, I remember like I I wanted him to be around a little bit more. Right. But you know, you know, what I mean, who was who was I to say? You know what I mean, I was right. just I just was a kid, man, and I respected it whenever I did see. Him. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And um mom was living her life, you know what I'm right. saying? You know, uh Right. Yeah, I, my dad, my dad, man, man, I looked at my dad, my stepdad was a job turkey, man. I ain't gonna keep it. <laughs> Mr. He, Day? He was a job turkey, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I had respect for him too though. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of respect for him because uh he was uh taking on some weight that wasn't his, you know what right. I mean? You know, making sure we was cool. He definitely made sure we was good. Right. And um that's just what it is, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh, we had our little, you know, uh, differences, but um, I can say that he definitely wanted my, uh, he wanted the best for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah. like I said, but I stayed out the way. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I you know what? My mom, my mom had married uh, my little brother, dad, and uh, yeah, I, um, he was all right. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was you know what I mean? He was, he was normal. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, it, you know, it's nothing like having your pop though. You know what I mean? For me, like with him, I I liked him. You know what I'm saying? He was he was he was good people, but I didn't like him enough to call him dad. Like I didn't hold, I, hold, you know, hold, hold. No, 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 slow, 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 slow. <laughs> let, yeah, let me fit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I you, you get what I'm saying though, cause you know, sometimes people be wanting you to, you know what I mean? Like, cause your pop not around. Like never, like my pop was never around. Like, I ain't meet my pop. Like, my mom ain't never take me to my dad and be like, this your dad? You know what I mean? We happened to walk by, and my pop was standing on the other side of the street, and she pointed to him, yo, that's your dad right there, and we kept walking. Dang. Yeah. Drama. Dang. Oh, so you met your pop on the drive, walk by <laughs> on the <laughs> 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 No, not like that. Sheesh. Wow. <laughs> he walks your hey, pop bro. on a walk by, <laughs> drive by, Joe. On the I'm fly not, by, I'm huh? I'm pop on a walk by, dog. Damn. And ever since then, that spot where we seen him, I would walk that way on purpose just so I could see my pop. Hey, yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That was, I laughed just now, but that was trauma. No. We, now that I'm really processing yeah, and I got kids no, now. Yo, ain't no doubt. But you know, in on, our the hood, note, I, that's, on the serious yeah. note, that was back then that was normal though. A lot of you know what I mean? A group of a group of jokers that was on that corner with my pop, my friends, they dads was out there too. Oh, you, are, you already know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm quite so, sure. Right. So it's like, man, that but yeah, that was, you know what I mean? Damn, I met my dad on a walk by, dog. Damn. That's crazy, but um, no, that's heavy. That's heavy. But uh, as time went on, he knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, I, would, yeah. I remember one day he gave me like five or ten dollars or something. I was so scared to tell my mom that my dad gave me five or ten dollars. I told her I found it floating down the street. Damn. Trauma. Trauma. Damn. Trauma with these mm, man. Well, we, why was I scared to tell my mom that? Cause she really never talked about yeah. it. Like she, she, I think she didn't talk, she didn't talk about him in a good light. So it was like, uh, you know what I mean? She always said, you'll see. So it made me think negative about him. I about to say, yeah, it was just a response. It, it, it came off negative. It came off, ne the response came off negative, but it was never like, you know what I mean? Like your dad ain't this, your dad ain't that. She never beat, beat him up to me. You know what I'm saying? 
But it was like, you know what I mean? You, when you get older, you going to see what's what. So, you, so your mom married your 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 your, your brother dad, my, my your brother little dad, brother my, dad. My little brother dad, yeah. And he, you never called him dad. I never called him pop. Like I never called him dad, but I liked him though. Because he cause he he was filling a void that I like I always like I told you in the last episode that I yawned a uh, oh I yawned my dad. I really needed my dad in my life. No, no you know doubt. what I'm saying? No doubt. And um he was there. Like he took me fishing. He took me uh like I learned how to fish from him. He I always wanted to be look, I was even mimicking him growing up saying he was a carpenter. I used to when I was growing up going to school and they asked you what you wanted to be, I said yeah, a carpenter. A carpenter yeah. I was mimicking him. Yeah, you was going by what you knew. Well, yeah, what I seen. What you know seen. I mean? he used That's to what take you knew. Me, yeah, he used to take me to work with him. You know what I'm saying? Um Dang. Like I knew I know my way around the city. Through him, because when I was young, we used to always drive like he all he had family all over the city. And I always used to look out the window and pay attention. Like I would know this block. Like I know I, when I was young, I knew I learned I studied the 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 uh the blocks. Right. So I would study Broad Street and I studied Market Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, if you can make it to them two blocks, you good. You, you good. Mm -hmm. And then I studied all the blocks that ran down through uh through Broad Street. You know what I mean? And he would always drive all over the city because he had family. He got he got a big family. And you know what I'm saying? And that's how I learned my way around the city when I was young, just being in the back seat of the car with him. You know what I'm saying? That was like fun to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um I was devastated one time he put his hands on me, bro. I, I needed my dad, bro. You know what I mean? Not that I needed my dad, because he didn't put his hands on me in a way like like beat me. He just grabbed me and threw me on the bed. And and the first thing that came to my mind, like, damn, nigga, where my dad at? Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? you was thinking from a malicious kid standpoint. Right, like, damn, where my, my dad, like, what you doing touching me, dog? Where my pop at? You know what I'm saying? And my pop, pop was, you seen your no. pop on the walk by. You knew your pop was on that corner. <laughs> Yeah, he might have been out. You know what I mean? My pop in and out of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, he had like four right. blocks he used to you be just on. Was that one, that you just was in your feelings. I was he, in my yeah, because he gripped you yeah, and he, he slung you. Yeah, yeah, he slung yeah, me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But overall, I'm going to be honest, overall, he was a good dude. He yeah. just couldn't get it right. He couldn't get it together. I remember one time, right? I want some real stuff, man. This trauma, bro. Back, you know, crack was out heavy. He was a, he was addicted to drugs real heavy and uh, he was addicted to crack. I found, my mom told me to go in the trunk and get something out the trunk. So me being a kid, I'm looking for it. I stuck my hand behind a tire and I pulled this bandana out and it was a crack pipe, dog. I was like nine years old. I found this crack pipe. Dang, I, what'd you do? I wrapped it up and put it back. <laughs> because I knew my mom was would've kicked him out. Ooh. Like she ain't play that. You know what I'm saying? That's I, knew heavy. She, I knew she would have kicked him out. I, I remember times like- Ho, 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 ho. Go ahead. Ho, ho, ho. So, so now, <laughs> you chucked your step pop crack pipe back because you knew your mom was going to kick him out. Yeah. and Because I liked him. Oh, and I ain't that wanna, makes I ain't sense wanna, now. You liked him. him. Yeah, I liked him. Mm. I didn't want him to get kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was trauma. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. It was the little- It wasn't the- You know, you know back in the day, you see people with the- um. The antennas, the street shooters, and all that. No, it was the real glass joint. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like on the movies, yeah, yeah. it was the real glass joint, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was. I mean, damn the P Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. Jeez. You know what I'm Seriously, the movie Dizzy. And the more I think, the more the more I think about it. I remember my mom was so my mom was so like um, like she was so like 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 she ain't really tolerate a lot. She'll give you a chance, you know what I mean? Teach, try to you call herself teach. Can you blame her? No, no, you get. I, but listen, she she made him. I remember one time, she was so stern. She made him. She gave him a pillow and a, and a blanket and something and something. He made him eat it on the on the step, bro, and locked the door and went the one one house went to sleep, bro, and he let him in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you gotta think now that that was all justifiable actions when you dealing for with sure. somebody getting how crack. No, for there sure. Ain't no telling what they might do. But it's a lot of stuff I don't, I didn't know that she protected me from that I didn't know. Like I didn't never know he he stole the VCR. Crack, I just, right? You get what I'm saying? Like he put. When you said like, crack. I knew. Like all we this had was this. Uh, <laughs> we had this. Um, 
we had this uh like this thing he made because he was a carpenter and it was behind tent it was like a shelf and it was tent behind it so you had to pull it down and that's where the vcr used to be it was gone when you pulled it down and if you wasn't worrying about the vcr you know what i mean you would think it's still there when we lift the thing up the vcr was gone i remember that Dang. Remember that, man. Dang. Good dude just couldn't get it together. Mm. Just couldn't get it together. But uh, he wasn't good enough for me to, you know what I mean? Even when we, you know what I mean? When he was when he was having his moments of being, you know, uh, his moments of consistency, you know, going to work, coming home, being a man of the house, I just never could, like, I used to always look out the window and really, like, look for my pop, like, in my head, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, man. You know, I used to think about my dad. Yeah. But I could never call him dad. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just was, and I'd be, I'd be thinking like, like that, that was like something I, I carried over into other relationships. Like, as I got older, like I was in a relationship with a young lady that had children. Mm. But I could never, like, see them allowing them to call me dad. You know what I'm saying? Because... From my trauma, you oh, know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything I've been through, yeah. and I was just like, no, yeah. I, you know what I mean, I'll, I'll find it. No, you can yeah. call me this. Allowing another it. man see to call you dad is heavy. Yeah, that's, you got, that's it's heavy. like a, a accolade that got to be super earned, right? And it got to be like, um, maybe I, I, and this is just my, um, my, my perspective of it. It's like a child that's like. Getting with a mom who has a child that's six months old, never knew her the dad. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like been there in, in the child life all all, you know, since really birth, since the, they've been born at six from six months on. And um now the child don't only know you and only you and the mom really know that you're really not the dad, all that type of stuff. Like the real, you know, logistics of you really not being the father, but understanding that the child doesn't know his father or Never been around his father, his or his or her father, and um, you really filling in that void. And um, organically, a child is going to call you dad. You know right. what I'm saying? And um, you're going to embrace that role. You know what I'm saying? But right. like coming to a child life who's 12, 13, you know what I mean? Is the difference? Right, like, it's a sure. big difference. It's like yeah. you know, it's like a red flag for real, for real. Right. For a joker. For, that, that, to, for who? For a joker. For a joker to even <laughs> allow a kid to do that, though. Yeah, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, like really, though. Like, like a kid don't know no better. Yeah. Like, so it's no fault of the child. But you're supposed before. to say, you supposed listen, to pull him to the side. Right. Yeah, listen, you Let's know. have a family meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what it is. I'm stepdad, that, yeah. definitely, because that's a term. That's a real right. name. You know, that's a real person. Right, that's a real person. And it's not nothing to take, take, yeah, take, take lightly. Uh, like, that's a I'm major definitely joint. a stepfather. Right. Um, I'm not your dad, you know, and that's a conversation. And shout out to him. Yeah, Ooh, major. You know what I, mean? yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna shout him out, but, but yeah. you know what I mean, whatever. But yeah, it's a conversation that we probably need to have, go a little bit more in, in depth with, a little bit later, not right now. You know what I mean? And um, pay what you cook. You know what I mean, like, right? right. <laughs> right. You ain't gonna right, shout right, him out, right, right bro. Right off the subject, be what you cook. You know right. what I mean? But you ain't gonna shout him out. It all depends. If he if he if he dead, maybe. Shout yeah. out to your pop, you know what I mean? You know he died, you know what I mean? Crossing Broad Street though. Yeah. But other than that <laughs> You dig with <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, it all depends on the circumstances. Right, right. right. Do, you, do you get what I'm saying to you? What if he been like locked up all all the child life? That's the circumstances we might say shout out to your father, you know what I mean? Right. He, you know, he locked up, he incarcerated, boom boom. You know, if he get out, you know what I mean? I'm quite sure you guys are going to resume, you know, where he, where he left off at. But if we talking about, you know what I mean, circumstances where, uh, you know, your dad, you know what I mean, he, you know, he's somewhere, um, might be in, in an institution because he, he's a rapist and, or. Right, right. I ain't, right. For, I ain't doing that. Right. I know some people that. that I, say, you know what I mean, he, like he, I ain't messing with nobody. Pop, that's right. like, you know what I mean? That's like, you know, got some things on his name that ain't. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't want the kid attached to. For sure. Like, no, I ain't yeah. no. Especially not nobody that did no rape, didn't rape the child or woman or. Let me ask you this <clears> though. <throat> you, you you know, you're a man that's been blessed with a lot of children. 
you ever like run into that? Like what? what oh, you know? oh, oh, no, no, I'm saying oh, you, you got. I mean, right, you know, you only one. You only one man. And you know we man? going into some situations that, uh, you know, um, as as a as a father who has uh, multiple uh, children, um, well, definitely. I mean, because they don't. I mean, I'm, 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 I got ten daughters. So we're gonna talk about my daughters because that's more ten daughters. right now Ooh. with the We ain't talking about your sons. Not, yet. not yet. Right. But what we're talking about here is um, you know, um a, another man who uh was trying to play a father role in one of my daughters' lives. Mm. And um the first encounter was uh at a graduation. I'm active in my child life. To the I mean, all the way to this point. And we might be talking 15 years ago, maybe a little bit, long, maybe, yeah, about 15 years ago, because my daughter, 22 now, 20, 22. My, actually, she's my daughter, 20 now. So we might be talking 15 years ago. She's 20, bro? Yeah, is ain't that? That dub. Right. All right, so. I get yeah, I yeah. that right. Might have been, might, might have been 14 years ago, but. Right. She was um graduating and um we had a joke uh you know uh giving her so much energy at the graduation. You know? What this her her mom her dude? mom friend. Oh. What I had a dude, dude, she ain't with him no more. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey. Yeah. Oh her or him. <laughs> That's another story. I'm definitely not talking yeah. about her. Oh, shit, yeah, I ain't gonna man. do that. Too. Right back. Who who? Man, listen, you gotta hold on to your, your man, your ties, man. But you know, when we make decisions, they consequences. For sure. And ultimately, uh, we be um, allowing, you know, for a woman, it's a little bit different, you know what I mean, than us men, you know, because right away, we ain't really bringing women around our children. Not at all. My kids don't know no. It ain't gonna happen. So I ain't doing three it. Three nucleus. It ain't gonna happen. Right. Um, it, I just don't operate like that. Right. You know what I mean? If I'm picking up a schizoid, you know, it's, we don't, it's all about the agenda. It ain't about what I got going on inside my uh my family life, our structure. Right. And it's gonna take a lot for you to for us to get to that point. But for a female who does that, it's like that's a little weird. You know mm. what I mean? And that's why we got to that Talk point where we it. like, all right, mm. he ain't he ain't in her life no more. So, you know what I mean? That's why I asked you was you talking about her or him. But that's another you know what I mean. Right. But we was at the graduation. Along with, let's go on with the story. And um, he was giving my daughter all this energy, like he was the dad, and I wasn't even present. Mm. And um, damn, I ain't really like what though. It was hey boo boo. All, I, I'm like first, the first, the first, the first, cause she was getting hey, my daughter super smart. Hey bro, my daughter super. Your, your daughter, my hey, daughter boo -boo super, super intelligent. She's super intelligent. She getting all these awards, accolades. The first a boo boo, I thought I was tripping. <laughs> Man, he talking my mind? No, he ain't. Gave it up again. He gave it up so much. I laid on him after the graduation, <laughs> bro. I had to. Man. I had to lay on him. Man. I a boo boo. Yeah, I laid on him, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I said some things to him, you know. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was just a place that I had to, I just felt like I was just. That wasn't a place for that. It wasn't a place yeah. for, you know what I mean? And, um, he was doing too much. He's a clown for that. Yeah. I don't even know the boy. Yeah, He's a clown yeah, for that. He's a clown for that. Yeah, yeah I don't even know the boy. That's clown stuff. Yeah, you, clown. you got the pop right there. Just chill. Don't be in there with. Just don't chill. Yeah, just, just chill, chill, pimp. Just chill. You know what I'm saying? Just chill. That's disrespectful. I'm quite sure she appreciated your support at that moment. Right. You were supporting her for You already there. You weren't right. supporting you my daughter. My daughter right. And even if you felt like you was, when you seen me present, you should have chilled. Yeah. Turn right. down. You should have just chilled. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, yeah, when I dressed him though, he was uh he was he was smooth. Um he 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 dug that it, it was going somewhere else. And um he wasn't there for that. Right. Which was was, was I was grateful for that because um what was this before you chased him to the police station or after? <laughs> oh man, that was before that, bro. That was before that, and um, I forgot I do talk to you about it. I do, I do talk to you about everything, but yeah, that was before that incident. Um, hey yo, 
And uh, it is what it is, bro. It's just certain rules that we play. You know what I mean? As uh, as um, role models. Right. And um, and whatever the role is, that's what model you are. And uh, sometimes we don't realize that. Uh, <coughs> for me, I gotta be like, cause I didn't dealt with other women that had children, and now my world was squeaky clean. Right. If, if you ask me, I believe my world was squeaky clean. Like, I don't want to even be around your kid. Right. I don't right. want to be around your kid or none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's just the, that's the lane I'm picking, I'm choosing. Right. Because I know my intentions. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, your intentions wasn't it. The, the, you was coming and going. <sighs> For sure. Bad John. Coming and going. That was me. Right. You know what I mean? Because uh, I knew I was strictly having fun. Right. You know what I mean? Like, to get involved with somebody else's kid, that's weird. Like That's weird. I mean, I you can't. know your intentions ain't right. Okay. And it's crazy. I don't know if this conversation will be different if we were still involved with it, though. Say that again? I don't know if the conversation would be different if we were still involved. I mean, no, the actual factual of the events that happened. Right. That happened. Right. You know, and um, up until if he probably was still involved with her now. No, I wouldn't be, because you, you were around. I'm around. I'm not saying that part, but what I'm saying to you is maybe, uh, you know, from a perspective of how their relationship might have grew inside her, the crib, the, the house, right. oh, might have been, you know, he might, she might have had a great relationship with him, right. but that still don't make him the, to make the father decisions I'm making and right. always me. Right. But I get it, you know what I'm saying? Um, that uh, that'll probably make this this story a little bit more doper when you said, well, when I when I uh, let you know that they they ain't no longer together. <laughs> right, 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 right. Actually, it was over quicker than. I paid attention to it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, which is normally normal with females. Like, and I get this to my daughters, like, you know, if you make a decision, like you standing on it, especially like, you know, um, if you start bringing men around your children, right? you can't be like something that, that that's just what you're doing because how do you expect them to turn out? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they only do what we, what we do, never what we say. Right. And, um, they might think that that's what how they're supposed to be performing. Right. And not saying that you're showing them how to perform, but you're showing them that, uh, you know, uh, this boy Kev, you know what I mean, at one moment was the best thing since pants was pocket. Now, you know what I mean, now this boy uh, Carter is is the newest thing, new, new, newest pair, pair of pockets on a new pair of pants. They might be thinking they need to switch their jeans and Wranglers and all that all the time. You know what I'm right. saying? If that makes sense. So. No, I get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I pick up quick. Yeah. You know so, you know. Yeah, I yeah. stay away from, I ain't never was on those. Me personally, I never was on step pop duty and none of that. Uh, right. You know I mean? Not like, you know, you know what I mean? I, unless it was called for. Like, I, you know, I had to do my time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to really have time in, like. Time in, yeah, right. Time in, like. Right. And now I'm showing up as, yo, damn, that's your pop. No, ain't my, that's my stepdad, but right. I'm showing up as such, right. though. Like, right. I got a, I got a stepson. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been with him since he was seven months. You See? He got it. He has a father. Yeah. Active, too. His that's father, what's up. His, his father's active. That's all that. You know what I'm saying? So and, what's, uh, your, what's your relationship? Not the dad, but you on the, uh, the youngin. You on, yeah, you on your. We steps. thirty. That's what's we up. Step. Oh, well, I'm, I'm. You know what I mean? Me and his dad, it's like all he know. So he know the dynamics. Like he, he grew into the. Dynamics. Oh, that's heavy. You know what I mean? He called me SP. SP. I mean, that means step up. See. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't let him call, like, even though he never tried it, because we established the name from the. I established the name from the rip. Oh yeah, that's all. The that. nickname. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just for him. That ain't for everybody else. That's just that name is just solely for him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, because uh, my intentions was pure with his mom. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like you know what I'm saying. I wasn't coming and going. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah I get it. So I had to establish, you know, something with him because my intentions was pure. Yeah, that's all that. You know I'm, I'm glad you're talking about this topic because you. Uh, you you married to the mom, right? Right. Yeah. Married, so right. your intentions was, I mean, like it is. It, your intentions were pure, and it grew on the intentions right. of. That's why y'all like Mrs. and Mrs. Jones, right? So you can really step in as the active father if the father's not there, 
Right. Meaning, like, if it's an emergency, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like, a For quick sure. moment, I got to, oh, no, if anybody say, yo, what a dad, the father, I'm right here. Right. I'm not going to be saying, no, I ain't his dad, I'm his stepdad. Right. No, I'm his I'm, dad. I'm What's up? Dad. What's going right. on? Exactly. I got him. What's right. it? I got him. Right. Right. And that's right. the point that we making. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, right. this for the viewers to be clear on that. Right. You know for what I'm sure. saying? You know? For sure. I don't never like single him out like like that's right. my stepson. Yeah. Because no, it's like can't do that. it's like singling him out. No, I, but I but I'll never cross that boundary as well because he gotta act the father. No, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. So, you know, it's is he got he has he actually has the best of both worlds because at the end of the day, like where 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 homie might you know what I mean? I'm right there. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and I ain't beat. I ain't there beating him up neither. Like I ain't beating his name up or nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm just you know it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you know, that's that's important because <clears throat> nowadays you got a lot of time. You got you got women just trying to throw their kids on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I've 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 witnessed that, and uh. Because they looking for that 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 to fill that vacancy, you know what I'm saying? And they thinking that's how you 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 do that, but that ain't that that's not love. You ain't so you don't just thinking like some women just caught up in uh, you know uh, the disappointment of not having a man. Cause some women just you be like, dang, you got a new man that quick. Yeah, they be rebounding fast, bro. No, fast. I just want I. It's it's crazy that you say that, right? And I know I'm gonna get some backlash for this, and I don't care. I'm set up for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm set up for the backlash. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Because guess what? Like, like you say, what you tell your daughters? Oh man, stand what you do. Oh. So if you do a thing, you got to stand it. And I watch my youngin. He just got divorced. His ex-wife already married. Got married the other day. Like I'm talking about. Ain't even let us let the divorce set in with the kids yet. Dang. Like they just be man. You know, people could call it what it want, but you 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 know, I call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? And uh you gotta be like, it ain't just you. It ain't just you. It's 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 other dynamics to your decisions. Yeah, when it's consequences. Make, yeah, it's consequences. When you're making a decision, you don't know how that's going to affect your kids. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying don't, you know, don't love again. I'm just saying pump your brakes a little. It's is 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 a is a word called being discreet. Yeah, right. And you right. could do your thing, but have right. be discreet right. about it. Right. Don't be all loud. Right. Because you can. Right. Arrogant. That's arrogance. That's a form you know of arrogance. If you yeah. being out loud because you can, yeah. that's a form of arrogance that has consequences. Right. Right. And you might not see them right away, but they coming. They coming. They swinging back around. They going to swing back around for sure. Swing back around. Yeah. It's, uh, swing back around. Yeah. You know what's so crazy? Uh, Some of the direct consequences be... uh. When your children get older, you never even realize that they it was a moment in their life when they lost respect for you. Oh, damn. And your kid lose respect for you. Damn. That's 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 as a heavy uh as a heavy heavy burden on you. Why? Because you gotta go through some changes. Yeah. And most children still need their parents uh for longer than a requirement. For sure. And um, I haven't seen households where uh, children, uh, some children don't uh, respect their parents or their mother or right. father. And um, that's a bad, that's a bad household to live in. Right. Because the entitlement part is still there. A, a, a child think they still entitled to certain things that you, you know, uh, might have been providing like a household, you know, meaning the roof over the, over the head. Um, you know, um, groceries, everything that comes with being a parent. And um, when they don't respect you, you know, it, it's uncomfortable because the entitlement part, they still coming and going and living, you know what I mean, um, under your roof, won't respect your authority because they, they don't respect you no more. 
um, is a lot. Right. It's a lot, bro. So, but that comes from the choices we making earlier when they can't, they don't have a voice. When they don't have a voice, dang. Dang. They don't got a voice because we so willy nilly doing, doing our doing our one two and not really paying attention to uh the repercussions of it. How many just imagine how many people out there still resent their parents, bro. There's a lot. I'm talking about like really don't like their parents, bro. It's a lot. Right. It's a lot. And a lot of times they put up they put that facade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause it's like that's my mom, and I suppose to just be okay with just that. That's my mom. Yeah. Or that's my dad, and I suppose to be okay with that. Having them, having them uncomfortable conversations is really needed, man, to r rectify the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's crazy because um, me and uh, um, me and you know. Uh, my young boy, I was once, you know, my my son's brother. You know what I mean? And uh, I helped, you know what I mean? I, I spent some time in his life. I spent about, uh, probably it was about 10 years. Yeah. Probably it was about nine or 10 years in his life. And uh, him and his sister. And we was talking one day and and and, and cuz I still got a great relationship with him. That's you know dope. I mean? that's my youngin. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, that's my youngin, you know what I mean? I was with his mom and I helped raise I helped raise him in his in his in his in his tender years. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's still my youngin. He called me, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be here for him, you know what I'm saying? But uh doesn't have anything to do with like I want to get back with his mom or any of that. It's just that's no, I that's get a it. relationship we established. I get you know it. what I'm saying? And um yeah, that you don't got to go through his mom to talk to him. Right, right, exactly, because he's older now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Before it was like, oh, damn, when, when you know, we broke up, damn, it, it ain't really no. But now that we, he's grown, yeah, he's we can have those conversations. And I used to always tell him when he was young, man, oh, man, you're going to see when you get older, man. You know what I mean? You're going to see how women play. Because you don't know some of them arguments was about you. Right. Like I was taken up for you guys. But all you know is I'm arguing. Did you with arguing, right? Right. <laughs> so you don't know that I'm really taking up for you guys. Right. So I had a conversation with him not too long ago. And I was like, man, you know, you're an adult now. You got two children. You know what I mean? You know, you got a baby mom. Y'all, y'all, y'all have your own personal differences. And uh, what you think? Like, what, you know, when I came home from prison. I got into that relationship with a woman that had two children and it, the children was about eight and nine. So they got to already an idea who their father is, who they want their father to be right, right. and all that. So I got to be a parent in that. Like I'm, I don't have no kids. I come up on another woman's scene. I got to raise her kids. I got to be a certain person to her. And then I can't forget about my own personal life. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that I'm just coming home from prison and I'm still childlike. I'm still a little when I want to yeah, you're, you're a child. I'm still, a, I'm still 17, 18 when I want to prison. Mm -hmm. So I got to raise myself. I got to raise them. And then I got to raise all the baggage that the woman got because she ain't never um, dealt with that. She ain't never dealt with that trauma. So I got to go through all that. And, um, I ain't never look at it like that. I was just living, bro. I ain't never look at all the stuff I had to deal with and put up with. You know what I mean? A lot of times when we be married to these women, we be married to their kids, which is acceptable. But we also be married to their family. The baggage that come with their family, their brothers, their sisters, their cousins, their moms, their pops, we, their grandma. We got to take all that, their aunts, their uncles. Like that be a part of our household too at times in some of the, in some instances, right? When I explained and broke all that down to him, he was like, "Damn, man, I appreciate you. I mean, everything you've done." And he got it kind of the work. He now I'm not going because I never put my hands on him or nothing, and I never talked down to him. But I did used to put him on like certain punishments and stuff when he used to do stuff. Yeah. But um, he got it kind of like. 
the worst. So he was like, damn, you know what? I appreciate what you've done and what you was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Because he could see it now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So him saying that, I respected it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that he 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 understood that I was learning that I, as I was going to. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for so. sure. Yeah. yeah. Consequences. Conse man. Consequences. This guy trauma. Got to be focused and mindful, and um, don't be irate with it. You know what I mean? But but just de dealing with you know, uh, your significant other, with children around that ain't yours or that is yours, because ultimately it can come back and uh, it can haunt you. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't really understand, but they get that resentment from how they feel at that moment, you know, and it's the same thing. You know, some children get embarrassed and they never forgive you for it because they got to relive that embarrassing moment right. over and over and you continuously embarrass them. You show up arrogant, uh, you show up, um, you know, um, you know, ignorant, you know, talking out of ignorance is, 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 a, is a bad one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and what I mean by ignorance is just showing that ignorant side of you. Like that, I don't care attitude, saying whatever you want, you know what I mean? And um, being real boastful, you know, you might not realize it because you're the parent, but your, your kid don't, 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 don't like that. Don't like right. that side of you, not out in the public, in the public eye, and where they could be judged and, and ridiculed by their by friends, especially when we show up to the schools. Right. You know, we come to the schools, we 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 dress any kind of way. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I seen I seen a couple moms come up with deep, with Madea dresses on, bro. Mm. Stains on they on they <laughs> mm. stains on their bedroom dresses from activities. For sure. <laughs> all kind. Yeah, yeah, be all kind. <laughs> <laughs> no. You you know what I mean? It's a certain adapt, a certain character you gotta, you gotta have when you, you gotta you know carry it. If you're gonna you carry it, your children. You got, if you're gonna carry it, you gotta understand I'm carrying a legacy in the in right. my lineage. Right. I'm carrying, you know what I mean, uh my my last name with this. So and not only am I showing up for for me, I'm showing up for my child. Right. And I'm gonna show up with a lot of dignity. Right. For sure. Because when it's time for them to reflect, I want them to respect them. Respect. We used to come, we used to always show up just this this type of way and that right. and it and it's gonna carry on to your grandchildren. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta understand the role. Remember we always talk about the role that we right. playing and what model it look like. You can't have to be the model For sure. and, and expecting your kid to to grow up and respect you. Right. And, and once you lose respect, once the kid loses respect for you, it's over. Yeah, it's hard to catch back up with it's it. Hard to catch back up yeah, with man. it. You be forever trying to uh, we this, gain it. We gain it. The, the power of this is a major topic, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, um, we could go on and on. Yeah, we can definitely go on and on yeah, about that yeah, topic. It's a, yeah. it's a major, major joint yeah, yeah. because you know what I mean. And no, and no, 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 no. Uh, like we ain't trying. We ain't not condemning anyone. Oh no, not at it's all. It's just a matter of just you know what I mean. Sometimes. We just need to show up a little different yeah. for what we say we represent. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, consequences, bro. Con consequences. You know what I'm saying? There, there we go. Table of consequences once yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, once know. again, it's on, bro. Let's do it. You know what I mean? We we, we on. We uh, right. The crazy thing about it is we got some people reaching out. You know, um, I talked to a young lady today that was like, yo, when y'all going to have a female guest? And um, I, I'm like, we got some things in the making. Right. But uh, you know, we're gonna do the, the female guest thing, the Venus versus Mars and all that stuff. Ooh. And we gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the people what they want. Um, but it's gonna be real. Real. It ain't gonna be no made up wanna, story. You don't want it no other way, bro. You know, if you, ain't nothing. If you it ain't gonna be scripted up, or none of that. If you can't come to the table vulnerable, yeah, I don't even come to the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, For sure. To be honest, like yeah. yeah, you can't be transparent. You gotta be transparent. Don't sh don't even sure don't even do. DM us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just be, Just be be willing to uh yeah. you know uh accept, you know, the fact that uh we all got flaws and we all got ways about us and this the platform to help us all get better and get through it sure. and grow through it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Like one of my flaws is I like the uh, it's like the I ain't go good. Yeah, man, it, That's is. Another story. it is it is <laughs> it's another you know it's what's another, so crazy? It's another topic. 
whatever the flaw might be, I get, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure somebody going to be able to relate, relate to it. For sure, because I learned it from somebody. Yeah, for I sure. I learned from somebody. Yeah, so. for sure, man. You know I mean? yeah. yeah. Ain't no doubt. You already.